All right, I suppose I better get started at some point. Good afternoon. I got a giant mug of coffee for myself this evening because boy was it a day. <sighs> when isn't it? All right, I'll play some ranked with the old dead boys deck to get warmed up a little. Then I think my plan is... Ooh, the game's a little loud. Maybe I should turn that down. Kinda dominating the, uh... Everything else. No, oh, one second. Half seems good. Um... Two Assassin's Trophies is kinda hard to pass up. Oh, and a Glow I'm fine. Yeah, that's grand. Oh man, it's nice to have access to my second tab. Or my second screen. They couldn't touch it at all during Resi. <laughs> okay, what do we got going for us? Wild Growth, Glow Spore. I think the play here is Glow Spore, because then I might be able to get 3 damage in next turn. And I'll guarantee the land, or getting closer to land. But if I play Wild Growth and I look into a forest, then I'll be able to play Jade Light and hit for the same amount. But it's kind of putting it on chance, so we'll go for Glow Spore. It was. <laughs> it was. It was two, <laughs> two forests. <laughs> And the zoni down the drain. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, sugar. And now there goes wild growth. Wild growth. Wild growth. Wild growth is the right choice. You're going to take wild growth. You can go for variety of scriptures, but I literally wouldn't. Not with your deck. Um, Assassin's Trophy probably not that useful either against your deck. Jade Light Ranger. Okay. Um, no, I don't agree with that. <laughs> Maybe, uh, maybe they have a ton of uh, ways to deal with the wild growth, so they're not actually scared of it. That would make sense, actually. And again, if you have something to deal with wild growth, it's not like you have nothing to deal with, uh, whatchamacallit, jade light as well. That's information. Oh, I should swoop... Uh, Diddly do. Um, I'm probably gonna drop Frax and Scriptures. Yeah. Quick audio adjustment. I want the game audio to keep playing while I'm clicking on another screen. Uh, disinformation campaign is out. Uh, I do not want him getting uh, them getting a lot of shit off that. I mean, they get a land, but yeah, whatever. Thoroughly intimate with their deck. Uh. Did I remember to tweet? I did tweet. What did they ritual assert? Yeah, ritual assert. No surprise. Yeah, throw that out. Um, and then we're just going to Assassin's Trophy, whatever comes at us. Test. Oh, actually, I want to test a button. Oh, your opponent, shite. Um, well, you know what? <laughs> uh, reveal their hand, you choose an online card from it. Yeah, so there's literally no reason not to do this. Like, <laughs> oh well. Boom. They get a land back, but... Eh, really? Um, I'm going to test a button, and I want to see what happens. Uh, it's a stream elements button. 
that in theory makes Oh no, it failed. Okay, that that makes sense. That's what I was expecting. They have played not a lot. Like what are they building up to? Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Turn target permanent to my hand. I land permanent on opponent controls. Uh, do you have to? You may. Okay, so he could totally just block and kill it. Which would probably be the better thing for him to do. Them to do. Because there's really no reason to let me get Merfolk Branch Walker out twice. Get away, little Scorpion. Shite. Oh, okay, we're in a bad spot. Top decking, so this is not how this deck is supposed to work at all. Let's see, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight land in the top 17 cards in my library. Uh, tempted to throw it away. Yeah, no, I'm gonna throw it away. Like, it only gets me one step closer to a better card. This deck needs work, but I know it does. It's kind of just nice and simple for me right now. I haven't played in a couple... days? Weeks? I haven't played in a couple weeks, actually. Counterspell. No counterspell? No counterspell. Hmm. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, we're just gonna wait then? Okay. No worries. No time for me to click nervously on the screen. Oh, I hope they've not gone AFK. I have very little outs in my current position. Okay, so they did have the counter spell. Okay, that sucks. That probably means I'm screwed. Don't see a lot of ways I can get out of this one. Let me think. The Zoni wouldn't do it. Um, kill spell would buy me time. The odds of them having a counter to any kill spell I have is fairly high. Booge. And a land really isn't gonna do it. I'm gonna play it out. I'm, I, I always play them out. Believe in the heart of the cards, etc. Oh, you can hide them now. Okay. And a few, fair few up UI updates since I last played. Zony, too late. Not even gonna get to player. Alright, that's a game. Baby, Saka, Beetle, get one more turn. Something, but no. Oh well, cast 30 black or green spells. Did I not cast black or green spells? Hmm. That's interesting. Okay. Surprised. Not sure why that's not working. Alright. Yeah, I'll keep this. I think deciding what hand to keep is probably my worst... Worst skill in the whole game. I am not... I do not make good choices when it comes to my opening hand. I 
very much fall into the trap of picking the thing I think is cool and I want a lot. Um, don't actually need to land right now. Definitely don't need a forest. It was a swamp, maybe, but forest, nah. Uh, I want to get Journey to Eternity on this one. Do they have... shit. Are they going to kill it before I can... Yep, there it is. Fuck. Damn it. I should have attacked first and then played the Journey to Eternity because he probably would have killed her before that. Um, I can find Finality... No, I can't find Finality in back. Uh, adapt. There's been a lot of... Sorcery. Okay, so it's that deck. I don't think I've played against this deck at all yet. Um, counterspell? Just burn. And the question is, do I kill this, or do I just play... I think I just go for the plus twos for a little bit. I want the cards more than I want anything else at the minute. There we go. That's more like it. So I can throw out the forest now. Maybe I could find finality into Glowspore and Merfolk. Merfolk Branch Walker. Walker. Ugh. Yeah, that's fine. I can take that. You don't have to be higher unless you attack. Yeah, grand. Hmm. If I get. I don't have one cost. I don't think there's a single one cost card in this whole deck. Hmm. Not a lot I can play out of this. Um. Do I plus two nothing, or do I kill? is by Ah, uh, hex proof. Nah, it's not worth it. I'll wait until he does something with it. I can I can assassin's trophy at any time, so it's not that big a deal. Terramander. One for a 1-1 one, one flying. It's a pretty good card. And adapt for adapt for its creature. There's no one one counter to put four on it. Okay, shock deals two damage. Shite. Okay, that's what I was afraid of. I grow bored with this fight. Bollocks. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna win a lot tonight. I think I'm in the shitter in that in that regard. Yeah, I have to sight muted. Okay. Oh, plus one less. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Let's 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 kill it. Unless it is the counters. Oh, no counter. Sweet. Awesome. Okay. That's good. How many instants and sorceries do they have in the graveyard? If that sound is going to keep playing, I'm going to be pretty... Oh, thank god. Oh my god. That was... had me worried. Um, Enigma Drake can be Vraskid. Why do I have Vraskas in this deck? Now that I think about it... Oh, Sacrifice. Yeah, I suppose that's pretty good. Uh, still... Oosh. Okay. That's dealt with. What can I do after this? I think it's time for fine finality, because I need something. Like anything. <laughs> uh, I'll throw out the Marfolk Branch Walker. Uh, I'll probably graveyard that Marfolk Branch Walker. Uh, I'm going to plus two and I'm not going to sacrifice a damn thing. Yeah, no, I'm good. Um, ooh, 
that's dodgy. Cannot kill that. So I need something. I need a good draw here. Um, I suppose I can put Journey onto Merfolk, Swing, Sacrifice, get the Merfolk back. Hmm. Yeah. I hope. Okay, okay, okay. You can block, and I get her back, or I can sacrifice her. And I get her back. <laughs> I hope you take the damage, because that's... Actually, no, it's not the good play for you, but it's the good play for me. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Very much. Turn into Eternity, bring it back. Where did I get... Oh, the Eldritch Reborn for... Oh, and that puts me in really good position for mana. Oh, awesome. Excellent. That's... That's a pretty good draw. I'm quite happy with that. Um, I don't need the mana right now. Oh, maybe I should have for... No, I, sure, there's no creatures in the graveyard. Lothos is not that great right now. L2, yeah. What you got? What you got? Please use the rest of your mana. I would be very happy if you used the last of your mana. <laughs> Does he swing for... Swings for the face. Okay, that's good. That's good too. Huh? Okay. If ever you've seen a hand that has a kit has a spell in it. Um Okay, destroy this. Does he have the hex proof? He doesn't. He doesn't have a, an instant at all, in fact. Uh okay, then eldest. Hey, we're in with a chance now. Awesome. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I would not have quit. I would not have quit that. There was... I was on the back foot. They they had everything. Oh, I had played the spells. Okay, sweet. That is good to know. This looks okay. Yeah, and no, I'll go with this. Forest, swamp, blow spore. I take the land if one comes up because I'll need it to play Vraska. Um. Come on. What you got? No for that's got siren, okay. No siren's fine. The siren can be a bit of a pain, but Ooh, okay. That two creatures though? That's two creatures, which is alright. This is Hmm. Shit, that thing. Hmm. Guild gate and swing. I deal more damage overall, so I technically win on an outright. Oh, but he's it's curiosity. Yeah, that draws cards. That one's curious obsession draws cards. That is a right pain. Two, two curious obsessions. <laughs> that is a hell of a thing. Oh no. <laughs> Anything? No, okay. Um, I Vraska. I think Vraska may be the one to do. They've got a counter, they're gonna counter either one. Uh, 
Um, I wonder is it that one where he's gonna make me pay one counter target spell? Okay. Shite. Phyrexian scriptures might be an idea, actually. Yeah, fuck it. Let's let's Phyrexian. Let's Phyrexian. And it, he's gonna have counter spells for fucking days at this stage. Uh, low score. Sweet. Uh, what do you do? You just need a quicker deck to deal with that. You meant to tap with that for for the before the turn. Oh, it's not looking good. Really not looking good. <laughs> Shit. People have definitely upped their games since I was last in bronze. Okay. Should be fine though. Um, Eldest will not save me now. They can do three, four, five, six, seven. So I need to kill. Okay. No. I can't win. Shit. Um, I can't. I target one of these to kill. He sacrifices this dude to counter it. And it doesn't matter who I target, because he just has to sacrifice this dude. So I'm gonna do this to see if he doesn't take the see if he doesn't play it right. They don't play it right, but I have no good feeling about that. Oh they let it through! Okay, so I have an extra turn. Hmm, okay. It's probably not going to make the difference. It's definitely not going to make the difference. Ah, <laughs> uh, bollocks. It's going to be the night for it. Do I not lose rank at all at bronze? Can you only go up? It feels a little... Uh, Feels a little cheap. Ah, oh, hey Evan. What's cracking, dude? Unfortunately, you missed the chill music portion. Uh, we're now on to the... I think this, the playlist is mostly like... Oh, no, no, there's just some chill stuff going up. Never mind, never mind. Fudge. I want to keep it, but I don't want to keep it. <laughs> um, I'll keep this. Uh, I'll throw the yellows to the bottom. Ugh. Yeah, I'm just playing some quick warm-up games because I didn't want to go straight into a draft or deck building without <laughs> refreshing the game a little bit because it has been a couple weeks. I have some packs to open. We can watch that. Uh, I don't hope this isn't. This is not the same. I was just up against this deck a minute ago, and it, this is exactly how it went as well. They just curious obsession to sit the shit out of their Siren Stormcaller, and they just had so many cards, I could never play a damn thing. Ooh. None of my decks are baller at the minute. All of them seem to be underperforming. Vine Visitation is silly. Uh, it's a game winner, is what the fucking is. Okay, next turn is something into Merfolk Branchwalker to swing with the Wild Growth. Uh, oh yeah, let me throw this out. Ooh, ooh, 
they have a counter spell? Back. Back. Someone can run up to one great that creature. Well, that's a. What is that? Two mana? Two mana? Okay, counter target creature. Okay, sorry, sorry. I thought it was counter target spell. Um, <laughs> I even read it out loud and I forgot that. Oh well. Uh, my last two games have been pretty poor. Uh, I have been <laughs> getting shrekt. This deck is. This deck needs a lot of work to be good. Um, I think. Let's see if Raska can come out. There, where we wiped my board, and then next turn, <laughs> March of the Multitudes. Oh my god. What you should have done is March of Multitude on his turn, on their turn, in order to just maximize, maximize the BM. Just, just throw out the march. Oh, he scribed. They scribed. Counter target for non creature spell. Damn it. That's what I was expecting. Um. Uh, let me know if music and all that shiz sounds aight. I know the music should be a little lower than my voice, which is about what I'm going for. Um, but I should be... I have some room to adjust bits and pieces. I should possibly consider... Hmm. Is it eldest time? Honestly, I just kind of want to get rid of any counter spells he has at the minute. Okay, have to sacrifice one, so this one's done, gone. I wonder if I could have gotten away with some Phyrexian scriptures there. I saw the best final. Yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, I will be judging heavily, but yeah, no. It's song request. It's song request for a reason, um, and I will probably not skip anything unless it's like woeful. <laughs> like, but I don't think I don't think anything you're gonna request will, will be woeful. So you're good. I, I hate I hate this bit. I I forgot. It's a YouTube video, so the end of it is like a shitty thing. I'm on two health. Oh shit! I'm dead. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> We've been added to the queue. Oh, it doesn't say the name. Why doesn't it say the name of it? Maybe that's the way I have the bot set up. Maybe it needs to be set up better. Uh, I lose next turn, so there's actually no point in playing this out. Ah. Yeah, but I thought song request. I thought the the actually, you know, I have the settings here. I can actually look at it. I own the bot. <laughs> Leaderboard, stream store. Where the fuck are bots? Chat commands. Which boss is this, by the by? Can't say I recognize it myself. So default commands. Okay. Um, song request. Rest the song. Da la da la. Wait, what? <laughs> hmm. Uh, this is a hand I will keep. Oh, Seymour. Oh, okay. Nice. I'm gonna throw out the Gulgari, and then I'm gonna go back to looking at my settings for just a moment. <laughs> um, for the, just so you know, um, you have moderator powers to skip songs and stuff like that. Skip, remove, or that kind of stuff. So, song request... Oh, it's turned on. Okay, sorry. It was, it was grayed out for some reason. Triggers it. Huh. 
Yeah, no, there's no message for it, so... Yeah, stream elements just doesn't tell us what it is. That's a bit of a shame. I'd rather it did. Oh, that's, that's nice. That's a very good bit. Um, Shanna is not really much to me. <laughs> Have you... Is it... It's your keyboard, isn't it? Have you cleaned it out? At least. Um, because that'll probably solve the issue. Or check to make sure you didn't accidentally turn on, like, a... Friggin... Ooh, hello. Uh, I might want to Assassin's Trophy this. Um... Or, or I Phyrexian scriptures. Ah, yeah, I'm at Phyrexian. I'll Phyrexian scriptures. I'm that petty. Makes makes them hold their hand for a turn, which is always neat. Yeah, we'll just get, let this go. Ooh, headsets beeping, and fucking wireless headsets, and they're goddamn. Battery lives. Let's try this out. Because he can't stop. They can't stop this from happening. Now, and now they can't play a creature this turn because they're in danger. Uh, if he swings with Shanna, I'm probably not going to block it because it, more than likely he's got that one mana white card. Gives plus two plus two to target attacking a blocking creature. Okay, yeah, I dig I dig the song. Uh, how long is the song? Cause Oh yeah, that's not long at all. I will grab this. Uh how do I grab? How do I how do I Can I just Can I can I have the song please? <laughs> God damn it. Uh, yeah, I'll take I'll take the damage. Uh, I honestly don't think. Yeah, maybe he was swinging because he's gonna. They're all gonna die next turn anyway. Well, non-artifact creatures. Bye bye. Hmm. I still have assassin's trophy. I can just swing like crazy now. Which card? Uh, Shanna or Phyrexian Scriptures? I see it a fair bit. I don't know why I see it a fair bit, but I'm always, I'm always. Maybe with Ravnica Allegiance, there's just better, something better out, and I shouldn't be afraid of it. But until that time, gotta say, MTG surprisingly a lot more chill to stream than, uh, not surprisingly, a lot more chill to stream than uh, Resident Evil. I can, I can like take my time and 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 and, and not. I so as as a rule, I tend to consider temporary buffs mediocre. Um. Unless they affect everything on your board and you have a lot of creatures in your board, on, on, in your deck. Unless they guarantee you get something out of it. They always tend to be situational and... Eh. There's a hexproof one, which is alright. That's good for protecting your stuff. But it also means you need to rely on... You're assuming they will all the opponent's deck will always have something that you need to protect your creatures against, some targeted spell that you will need to protect your creatures against, which is Dive Down. I am not familiar with that. Um, I must look into... there's a... Um, I must look into that freaking... whatchamacallit? The app? The overlay? I can add to streams? Holy crap! Why do I have so many Azonis? <laughs> Plus three, plus zero, plus three hexproof. Yeah, that's the one I'm thinking of. Um, 
Again, I, I, I put it in the situational category. Like, like all of those cards. I don't know if I should be attacking with this. Um, and he can just gain one life back every turn. Yeah, I shouldn't have attacked. I should have, I should have sat on it and waited. Yeah, you have, I suppose, I suppose, here's the thing with Dive Down. You probably want to, it's probably, it's value probably scales with the value of your creatures. Um, other creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Ah, oh, that's not lasting very long. <laughs> he's dead. He's, he's, he's so done. <laughs> not a hope am I letting that l live. Yeah, so Dive Down will be good when you have things like Italia and that giant slot, that giant um, counter boy, counter taken boy. Goodbye, Banalish Marshall. I feel like Banalish Marshall is a reprint. Very good for ramp, yeah. Probably think I'm gonna do a draft after this game. Uh, I've wanted to draft Ravnica Allegiance, and I got more than enough money for it. Then I'll probably buy a few packs and try and build a deck. Try and build a, a slimy deck, as slimy a deck as I can. Oh, here we go. This is what I've been waiting for. Jesus, that took long enough. Morning, Rinri. I actually really don't want to have the Jade Lights and the Wild Growth Walkers in this deck at all. Because I'm just really sick of playing Wild Growth Walker in so many decks. I play a lot of green, and I just don't want to see Wild Growth Walker anymore. <laughs> I get it's good. I know it's good, but I, I don't want to see it. <laughs> I don't want to look at it, man. Oh, man. Have you played Persona 5, by the way? Um, excellent JRPG, and... Just such a good soundtrack. This is this is from that soundtrack, and it, it is just excellent all the way through. Oh. Ah, sh no, I'm not gonna say. Never mind. Because <laughs> I think I'm alone right now, but I'm not. It's very easy for me to start singing all of a sudden. Ooh, shit! Plus one, plus one, and haste to everything. And an Adna Adanto Vanguard. Um, sugar. Pick it out on a legend deck in favor of incubation druids and a mentor of the meat. Yeah. Um, I'll probably probably take it out of this deck at some point. Here is a question for no one. I can't remember if I put no backseating. You haven't played P5. I pretty pretty high on my recommendations. I think it came out in 2017, same the year that all the good games came out. Um, so is it? Do I play? I think I play Azoni. You know, I play Azoni. I've got Azonis to burn, and her dying only means I get better Azonis down the line. Uh, I think I'm also going to. What am I gonna do? Oh, that is that is not a chill song at all. <laughs> Holy shit! Um, I wonder should I skip? Nah, nah, that's a good song. Um, you're fine. It's so I think for magic the rule is gonna be don't tell me exactly what to do. But we can we can theory craft all we want and talk about what we could do. But if I'm trying to if I'm gonna like think of what to play now, um, probably don't tell me. I think that's that's a good way to do it because otherwise I need to learn by fucking up and making my own mistakes. So if I just take what chat says all the time, then I'm not really playing the game at all. Yeah, yeah. As long as you're not saying, hey, you should have played Eldest Reborn, you, you play Eldest Reborn now. Maybe say, after I've done it, you should have played Eldest Reborn because blah. That's fair. That seems perfectly fair to me. Uh, do I even want the Global Support Shaman? 
Uh, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw that check that out check that out. And now, do I just sit and play twiddle my thumbs with him? Hmm. Which one of us scales better? I think we both scale pretty well. Um, yeah, let's we'll swing with wild growth. Um, worst comes to worst, I sacrifice it for a, a card and a life. Uh. It's that. Sacrifice another creature, gain one life, draw one card, and it's one black, one green. Uh, it is pretty good, uh, especially when you consider her undergrowth ability, which is shit out beetles. <laughs> okay, what do they got? Is it going to be like plus three, plus three, plus three, plus three? <laughs> is that what's about to happen? Because they don't, there's nothing they can give them plus six. Uh, <laughs> huh? Create X11 one, one white soul creature tokens. That's fine, honestly. <laughs> oh, with lifelink. Shit, that's less fine. <laughs> that's significantly bad now that I think about it. <laughs> uh, sugar. Sugar spice. Um, What? Is in their graveyard at the minute. Heroic reinforcements, Banalish Marshal. I'm gonna play the Eldritch Reborn just to start clearing out some shit. Um, I know it's literally just getting a token out of the way, but I want the Banalish Marshal. Oh god, if he has another march, I'm screwed. Utterly blown around, I believe, is the technical term. I want I want to eat sweets, but I number one I don't have any sweets, and number two I can't justify eating any sweets. I've eaten enough today already. Uh, I am trying to watch watch what I eat, like a motherfucker. Um. Oh fuck. Okay, that hurts. That is that lethal. That's very possibly lethal. Shite. Uh. 16 by themselves. Yeah, no, that's lethal. Shit. Uh, let's see if we can survive anything at all here. Uh, no, we can't. Why did you even do that? <laughs> Shit. That is 3 for 3 on losses. Oh. Uh. Not a good day. Not a good day for it. All right, let's play. Let's play draft. I think I've lost. I've lost enough at regular, not a traditional draft. No, no, thank you. No, thank you. Rank draft. Let's go with that. Uh, we'll throw about five k down the hole for it. All right. Attention enters the battlefield. Exile target. Non non permanent opponent controls and all other non non permanents that player controls with the same name as that permanent. Ooh. Okay. So it's, it's, um, whatchamacallit, cheap, and with a wide range. That's probably what I'm going to pick. Counter creep spell, death touch, afterlife one, create some dudes. Two, that's a pretty good card. It's a very good card. Um, creature you control, plus and plus, against trample. Has trample, has trample. That's quite good. I'm assuming <laughs> that's kind of Azorius' stick. It's 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 um Tyromancer's Cage. That's all it is. It's Tyromancer's Cage or Ixalan's Binding. That's it. Um, except it affects every card with the same name. So non-land permanent. So great for land more elves. <laughs> Twilight Panther gains Dead Touch, that's crap. Um, that's one for a one two, actually. That's that's okay. Uh, some regen to trade on target attack creature, don't like it. Just five damage, don't care. Um, one one white human. Nope, not a hope. Uh, counter target spell for three. Oh, thought collapse? Oh nice! Better cancel, that's good. 
Um, man, they're putting, they're pumping out the just cancel but better cards at the minute. This and uh, the surveil variant of it. Plague white becomes blocked. Each creature blocking it gets minus one, minus one. That's pretty good. Can't be blocked. Effectively, can't be blocked by one ones. Um, well, can be blocked, but won't be killed by one ones. And can kill anything up with up to toughness three. That's that's pretty decent. Spectral is turn out to two target creature. That's pretty good. Swing with shit. Spectacle it back to your hand. Mill counter spell. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't know why they keep letting mill be a thing. Mill's mill's just so uninteractive. One damage to each player. Eh. That's pretty good. Three damage for one. Well, it's only sorcery, I guess. So. Eh. Oh, I love the design on that thing. I also love the design on this thing. I should I should point that one out too. Push Rider, Riot, 5 for a 4-4 four, four Riot, oh, so 4-4 four, four Haste or 5-5, five, five. that's pretty nice. Is it? Ah. Yeah, it was always, it was always going to be Deputy. Um, doesn't mean I'm in white-blue, though. I have a feeling, I have a feeling that red-black is probably going to be pretty powerful in Arena. Battlefield, discard a card. Also, technically in draft, this is terrible. Because what are the odds of them having multiple copies of the same card? Um, sorry, it's not terrible. It's not as good as it is otherwise. It's still good because it's three. It's a three mana exile, and it's a one three creature. Like that's still pretty good. I suppose the fact that it's a creature makes it slightly worse than Hieromancers or Ixalans, but still. Rix Madi Reveler enters the battlefield, discard a card, then draw a card. Spectacles then said discard your hand and draw three cards. Okay. I, l I quite like that actually. Um, that's a really good card. Um, two different ways to play it that are both effectively completely different. Like one's just getting through shit, the other is. Draw three cards if if you want to discard your hand, which by turn four that might be well worth it. Uh, Spire Mangler and Spellfield are with flying control gains plus two plus zero. Nope. I hate I hate these effects. Give another creature. What's well, flash actually? So that's actually alright. Flash flying for three. So you throw him down. You block something. You buff something else. Oh, you can. Oh, he can buff himself. So he's a 4-1 if you want to kill something for cheap. Uh, put that card from a graveyard on the bottom of its owner's library. Okay. Uh, Civic Stalwart and his battlefield creature control gets swamps for one. That's alright. Uh, Silver Grand is battlefield tap card creature and opponents. I'm going to be reading every card because uh, I, I don't know Ravnica Allegiance very well. <laughs> And there's a battlefield, tap target creature in a bone control, it doesn't tap during control and snap step. Ooh, five for three three flying and oh, that's that's alright. Um, not exceller, but it's decent and good in arena. Or draft or draft, yeah, this is called a draft, yeah. Tap and untap creature control, add one mana of any colour. So itself, basically. number of or uh, two, two plus number of cards named Goblin Gathering in your graveyard. <laughs> I like it. Um, oh, oh, sorry. You need, yeah, so you need to tap it and something else. Okay, that's terrible. Never mind. Uh, Threat that creature. Because that deals to jump that creature's controller for six. Nope. Hexproof. Uh, <laughs> you humongous. That is excellent. That is that is a thick boy. Zori's Arbiter can't be blocked. Five for two five vigilance can't, vigilance can't be blocked. That's pretty nice. Three three one lifelink. Eh, not my style. Three for a two three flying adapt one. That's what I'm talking about. Um, that's really good. <laughs> uh, I'm probably gonna take Rex. Rex. Uh, 
Um, partly for the rare, the, the greed for the rares. Ooh, Galloping Lizrog. Ooh, okay. I want them anyway, so I'm tempted to take it. Digital get so much reading on the turn, untap the bats. Like, decent situational one. Card by the hand, choose an online card from it. That player discards a card. That's pretty good. For one. Trample. Buy for a 3 3. This is the staple of the slime decks, isn't it? Or not the slime decks, but the. This is a, this is a staple of the. Simic decks. Sorry. When I see. When I see. Um, when I think of Simic, I just think slime. So. <laughs> I, may, I, may, I may call them slime. The slime guild at some point. Our creature power four or greater, that's alright. Humongous. Love the art is excellent. Apparently there I think I think someone was pointing it out in the Reddit. There's a post from a previous set there's an artwork from a previous set that looks like this with the one eye and the grey skin. Um and it's like being threatened, and then this is like <laughs> you know, the before and after picks. Uh, destroy target land, scry two. Mm, all right, rubble reading. Rule oracles, see opens in all forms of destruction. The entrails of a market prey, flight of vultures over a battlefield, the scattering of topple stones. That's, I like that. That's that's pretty neat. That's very gruel. Destroy target artifact, destroy target creature flying. That's all right. Carrion imp enters the battlefield. You may exalt target creature card from graveyard. If you do, you gain from a ah, graveyard. Okay, that's yeah, I guess. Uh, death touch, two two, whatever. Um, life link, and can get plus one plus one for very expensive. Ooh, ooh, nice, good, good call. Um, if there's very few actual slime cards, I'm probably going to just put them all in a deck anyway. <laughs> um. Do I want Galloping Lizrog or Drillbit? Probably gonna go for Galloping Lizrog. Um, just in the off chance that I go blue green, I'd like to have it. Uh, attacks, target creature and opponent controls can't block. Eh, it's alright. Sacrifice another non green, create one one white. Oh, afterlife three, but it costs seven. Oosh. Like the art though. Night of the Last Breath. That is someone's handle somewhere. Someone's edgy, edgy username handle. Um, Freydos is enters battlefield attack. Greed get opponent control gets minus two minus zero. Two for a one two flash flash flying minus two for a turn is all right in my books. Uh, I know that one. Creation go up to zero. Da, da, da. Tax each combat fable for five. No, rather not. Basic land. Draft into a land of the battlefield. Deals two damage to each opponent. You gain two life. Yeah, no. Um, Rakdos lock it. Don't care. Don't care. It's uh, probably fairy. Yeah. Ooh, hey. What's this one? Carnival deals one damage to target creature or plane blocker and one damage to that permanent controller. To target... Oh, right, right. so one. Three damage to target opponent and discards two cards. Mm -hmm. Hmm. It's always nice to have options. That's alright. Would go well with the Mad Reveler I already have. Exiles a card from the graveyard. Exile target card from a graveyard. Draw a card. Exile target card from a graveyard. Draw a card. Oh, you've sacrificed, you've sacrificed this guy, so that's why it's... That's why it's not ridiculously overpowered. Oh man, I'm starting to... I'm digging the Azorius uh, armor sets. I quite like that that style. Nine of Sorrows can block an additional creature each combat. That's alright. Um, this was alright too. Might take this one if nothing else grabs my eye here, which I don't think any... Oh, right, that, you're right, that's Orzhov. I'm liking the Orzhov aesthetic. That isn't surprising. I usually don't like the Azorius aesthetic, so I was surprised, but if it's Azor if it's Orzhov, I am not surprised. 
Um, it's two plus two. Nope. 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 Uh, draw a card, you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. Draw a card, you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. That means... I'd only take that if I'm... 100% in blue-green, and I'm nowhere near that. So the question now, is it Plague White or Carnival? Carnival Carnage. I think it's Carnival Carnage. For... which one's Dovin Grand Arbiter? Yeah, Carnival Carnage is what I'm going for. Ooh, I love this song so much. One second, doing doing a quick quick tweet. It's instant! Oh! That makes it even better. I was thinking of it just as a sorcery. For bidding spirits enter the battlefield until your next turn, creatures you can't treat creatures can't attack you or a planeswalker you control unless their controller pays two for each of those creatures. That's a I don't like this is a type of Oh, okay. White, blue, so presumably the guild leader or something like that. I don't like these types of cards because they are stall cards, and I... I'm not saying it's always bad, I personally just never like it. I never like stalling. Um, sorry, I never like stalling with a card specifically designed to stall. Attack you or planes working control. Let me make sure I was reading that right. Yeah, yeah, that's a stall card. Uh, that's. Oh, I like the artwork. Nice. Page of sound and battlefield. Scry 2. 2 for 2 1. Scry 2 is okay in my books. Sack a creature. If you control a creature power 4 later, you gain 4 life. Target one, sack a creature. That's. Good. Uh, I don't think you'll ever get this second thing off, but it's just three your opponent sacrifice a creature. Um, which is I tax attack, you discard a card. If you do, you draw a card. That's alright too. That's plus zero. Um, kinda tempted to take the Azorius Guildgate. Oh, he's the, he's the, the planeswalker you were talking about the other day look at the top 10 cards in the deck and take three that's his oh yeah he's the really sh i think i remember reading about him and being like wow that's he's all about the first two abilities i think they were actually good or were they i can't, I can't quite remember uh so i'm uh, no i'm not in any colors yet <laughs> because evan you needed four that's a play set man Oh man, I love this song so much. Feel it, put it in your hand, then shuffle your libraries. Your library base land card. So, I either take this, or I take... Honestly, I'm not sure what else I could take. Um, and I'm not really that fussed about this either, because it's not like I'm in white-blue guaranteed. I'm as much in red-black as I am in white-blue. Um, why? Because Azorius is, is full control, and that's uh, that's not your thing. Ends of Battlefield. Um, I'm gonna go with. Oh, riot! I didn't see the riot. Okay, that no, that that decides it for me. Um, R rubble rubble belt runner. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fucking sure, yeah. It's for the intellectuals among us, Evan. God. Dark creature against Detchetland, turn, draw a card? Hmm, okay. 
5 for... Is this SCP-682? Um, 3 for a 5-2? Meh. There's a cost to cast a spell, pay 5 lice, or sacrifice a creature, or enchantment. Destroy target creature. Why? I suppose... No, why? I actually don't know why this is the thing. Um... Tower defense plus high alert. What's... Oh. I... Yeah, no, that's not happening. <laughs> um... I'll probably take this. It seems like the only thing that... Is... I... How many creatures am I sitting on at the moment? Actually, you know, sometimes you need a 5-2. Carrying Imp is not great. Alright guys. Also, oh, hang on. So I should be I should be considering here, what are the bots drafting against me at the minute? Because it looks like they're not drafting blue or red. Which is neither <laughs> not really something I want to be in, to be honest. With power one less attacks, Calcata Clowny deals one damage to target. Ooh, hello. Okay. This is the kind of card I can get behind. Um, red white, red white with this is possibly a pretty dope combo. Solana, as battlefield, top four cards, real creature, top your library. Nah. Um, oh, hey, another fairy duelist. I'll probably take that. Uh, Terrible shows their graveyard into the library. Draw four, discard two for six. Not a hope. Um, yep, fairy duelist. Boros Weenies. Yeah. Um, Dead Revels. Thought Collapse. I think I'm... I'm racing towards blue at the minute. Mostly because I like my blue cards more. I tend not to like red-black to play, so I'm not super fussed about play about going into it. But it might be the best option. I don't think any of these are particularly Yeah, I'll take the Todd Collapse. Todd Collapse. So mill like this is especially effective in arena. Cause sorry, draft, draft. Is especially effective in draft because I'm thinking of arena from Hearthstone. It's effective in draft because there's so much fewer cards. It, get, this essentially gets rid of a tenth of their deck. You counter something and throw th three things into their graveyard. That is a tenth of a draft deck. Um, Hexproof's pretty tempting, actually. <laughs> uh, create a number of red goblins. This would be good if I could get a bunch of them. <laughs> and this is not very good at all. Put target card from graveyard on the bottom of its owner's library. Yeah, humongous. Also, the, the the name is pretty neat. Death touch. I like my destroy target land. I'm a bit of a prick for those. They're quite strong in um, draft. Am I am I am I drafting a destroy target land deck? I think I'm drafting a destroy target land deck. Um. Two for a two-two. Up zero and gains first strike. I'll take that. And an another one? No, I'd really rather not. I feel like okay. Multicolored creatures you control get plus one plus one for two. Hmm. I don't think it's gonna benefit me much because I made very little. Oh, because all their all their spirits are white black, aren't they? Addendum. There's an effect if you cast it during your main phase. Uh, draw two cards in your main phase. You gain two life. Draw two cards, gain two life. Eh, that's pretty good. But I suppose it's an instant actually. It's all, it's, that's that's with the with the option to be an instant. Um, tap tar target creature gets minus creature. Gain turn if you control a creature with power 4 greater you may return up to one target creature I don't think I'm rocking much power 4 greater in it so that's definitely out 
Uh, cast a spell, sacrifice two creatures, draw two cards. That is three cards for three cards. Um, I could see this working in that black, red, take other people's shit deck. Um, yeah, Orzo, I, I'm definitely making Orzhov at some point. It's it's slime out. We're going slimy out the gate, but we're we're dipping into Orzhov later down the line. Camp blocked. Um, deals when food dies, deals one damage to any target. Actually, actually, that's all right. <laughs> target creature. Da, 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 da. Growth spiral is tempting. Um, honestly, I'm not 100% sure what I should pick here either. Galloping, maybe. Uh, I'm not. I'm really not in blue green at all. Why did I pick tower defense? I can't remember. I think there was just nothing to pick at that level. At that um, bit. This is heavy on the. Oh my god, that costs five. Okay, no, that's that's not good. Kind of tempted to pick last guild pack because I don't think there's anything here that is like that good for me. Santa Griffin and a Battlefields cry one for four, three two flying. Um I think I'm in red at the minute. I'm definitely in red. Red black. I think I'm in red black, yeah. I mean, Angel of the Scales. What's Angel of the Scales? Um, and here's 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 playing the outside of this game. Game. This. How this is rare. This is not. This is useful outside. I will have plenty of these, no matter what. Do I really want to cheese it that much? I don't think I do. I think I want to take what works for my deck in the draft. I want to play it draft style, because I'll get all the cards eventually, regardless. Uh, whenever non token creature ends the battlefield under your control, flip a coin until you use a flip. For each flip you won, create a... This is... <laughs> okay, I'm picking this. <laughs> you can pay one to give Death Touch and one white... I do remember that. That's a very, that's a very good card. Um... Card from the opponent graveyard on the battlefield under your control. It's stoops your haste and sacrifice. That's great. That's excellent. Um, probably gonna take mirror match for the fun. Top five cards of your library. Reveal a creature card from among them and put it into your hand. The rest of the bottom of your life. Eh. Um, Exile target creature. That creature's controller creates a three-three green frog. That's pretty good. Uh, incongruity is pretty good. Oh, I think this is a reprint. Actually, now that I look at it, I think incubation incongruity is. A reprint. Let's put it into your hand, so that's actually alright. I, I should have. Yeah, that that's a good card. That's a good card. And there's the. It's probably mirror match here. Destroy target creature, scry one for five. Not happening. Uh, and the battlefield, you may sacrifice on a creature. If you do, put two one counters. Nah. Um, I quite like Aramunculus. Um, yeah, we're going. We're going with mirror match. Just, just for shits and giggles, basically. Ooh, got bones! Okay. From your graveyard to your hand, acted only during your turn, and only if an opponent lost life this turn. And the battlefield tap, one for a 2 1 that I can keep bringing back. Uh, I'm probably gonna take gutter bones. Yeah, I'm pretty much in red black at this stage. If you hadn't guessed. Riot Menace. 4 for a 3 3, or 4 for a 2 2. Oh, Menace! Sorry, yeah, Menace as well actually makes that alright. Okay, it's 2 for 0 with Menace. Uh, target creature gain Dead Touch. Alright. Uh, we're gonna take Gutter Bones. Let's see. Grill Beastmaster. Never Grill Bones attacks, and then current creature control gets plus X to 0 until end turn where X is the Grill Beastmaster's power. Ooh, that's pretty good. I like that. Um. Cast cast. This is the crap one. This is the crap. One. Yes. Um, if it was exile, maybe, maybe I could see something coming out of this, but no. That's so expensive and not 
that good, isn't it? Not that good. Not just just destroy is not that good. Uh, strike target creature with flying. Uh, each creature with flying your opponent controls. That's nice. For three, and instant speed. Will cost one less cost for target control with one creature. Uh, target if if it targets a creature, fights target creature you don't control. Um, eh. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, I mean... So here's the thing. If you run murder, it costs three, and you don't have to sacrifice anything. It has the exact same effect. Um, if you're by chance in green, you're running Assassin's Trophy, which has an even better effect. Um, you're in white, so... Hieromancer's kind of a thing. Nah, I wouldn't I wouldn't really compare Hieromancer and Excellence to this. It's not really a fair fair comparison. Yeah, it's mostly murder just kind of beats it, um, I think. I feel anyway. Uh, I'd rather not sacrifice a token or enchantment. You, yeah, I'd rather not sacrifice a token. I suppose it's one mana. I'd totally sacrifice a token for one mana. Okay, maybe, yeah, maybe I'm being too hasty on that. Final combat damage, yada yada. Um, uh, I'm actually not sure what I want to pick from this set of things. Because they're all kind of eh. Uh, um, I'm not really in blue anymore, so I'll just take the blade brand. It's on color. Or deface. Deface might be good to keep in the side for any troublesome artifacts. Um, it's not like I'm gonna have a sideboard though. Okay, I closed my eyes and I just picked there. By the way. Um, which one's cast down? Dagger cast and dagger caster. The greatest wizard class there is. <laughs> that's that's pretty dope. Uh, Dagger Caster in the battlefield gives one damage to each opponent, one damage to each creature your opponent controls. That's nice. That's an anti anti Orzhov thing right there. And battlefield under your control, you gain one life. That's an full on Orzhov thing right there. Every player puts a top card of their library into their graveyard. Top four, top twelve cards. Deck can have any number of cards named Persistent Partitioners. Fuck that card. Okay, already. <laughs> I already don't like it. Not that it's bad, I just don't like it. Um, send them, draw a card, and return a creature. That's... Is that... I feel like there's another card that does basically this. Um... Maybe it's more expensive. Uh, maybe it can't be done instant speed and cost the same, but doesn't require the addendum. Ooh, Skewer the Critics. Um, probably gonna pick up the Skewer the Critics. Uh, hang on, what am I looking at on creatures? One, two, three, four, five. I've got a whole another pack to go with, so I can I can buff beef up on creatures later if needs be. I want the skewer. Archway. Archway angel lands the battlefield. You gain two life for each gate you control. Nope. Mm, target player was top four cards. Oh my god, they put in fucking they went they went full on with the um what you call it? Rafter Demon. Uh each opponent discards cards four 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 two. It's on color, so I'm probably gonna pick it. Um, that's me a sacrifice on a creature to do. Lunge and get blocked. Three for two, three. Ooh, hello. Is all colors flying hexproof from monocolored? Fair enough. Um, is it bad that I'm tempted to go for the rubble reading again? It's rubble reading or Sphinx of the Guild Pact. Um, Crab 
crab, crab, turtle, crocodile. This is what I'm talking about. This is where the shit is, man. This is where Simic gains its power. I wonder is that any good. Uh, adapt 3. It can attack as though it doesn't have 6 for a 6-6 six, six defender. Adapt for 8. To make it a 9-9 nine, nine without defender. Honestly, it's not very good. <laughs> Um, I mean, I feel like you could just use something else and it would be better. I feel like there are just better cards. You could have... Uh, maybe, so, in draft... Uh, basically what it is, it's a card for draft, for when you need something in draft, but I don't think it's... I don't think it's meant for main, main play. Uh, I'm probably gonna go for the Sphinx just to beef up my creature numbers. I don't want to do too much of the old destroy land. It's not actually that useful. It's just kind of like being it's like being a dick. In their hand, that player discards that card. Might take this very talented sacred creature. Um Yeah, drill bit. Um creatures, rather not. Although, I might have mirror match. I might take the gate, give gateway plaza. Okay, so plus one, plus one. One for a one, one lifelink is good too. Put dark creature card. Oh, I do want this. I definitely want this. Um, yeah. I think that's quite good. Oh dear. Mm, four is very expensive. Might be better to go for this guy. Mm. Right, menace, right, menace. 2 2, menace, haste. 3 3, menace. Yeah, when I say it like that, I don't like it. <laughs> um, <laughs> for 4. Great target artifact. Hey, that made it the whole way around to us. Uh, hey, I got another rubble. Take the uncommon, whatever. I got four. I got four rubbles. It's happening. <laughs> counter target activated or triggered ability. Excellent. Anytime you can counter a triggered ability. Oh, hang on. It doesn't actually let you counter a spell. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but still, still pretty damn good. Activated or triggered. Sorry, the triggered is unique. Usually you can get counter target activated ability. Counter target triggered ability is pretty interesting. Uh, token that's a copy is excellent. That's an excellent card. I might take this. If there's nothing that really speaks to me in the rest of this, which there really isn't, holy shit. Um, no. No. None of these are on color. It's Rakdos Gilgate. Or this one, or Reputidate rep Replicate, and I'm gonna take Reputidate rec Replicate. Because um, I, I want it for outside of this. 4 damage to turn creature and opponent controls, then 2 damage to each other creature that player controls. If you control a creature, rep okay, no. Um, 2, can you upkeep when you may sack for a creature when you do. Deals 2 damage to target opponent or planeswalker. You may sacrifice a creature, including itself. Um. That's aight. I like that. Um, Undercity Scavenger. Ooh, I quite like this one too. It's a toss up between these two, basically. I don't think this one's good if I remember correctly. Yeah, 4442, not my. I just. I tend not to like creatures with low defense. Um, defense just speaks to me on a. On a, on a level. Man, I love this song. Okay, hang on. One second. Quickly, I'm going to run to the bathroom. I'll be back in just a minute.
Thank you. Uh, I also forgot to switch back to this. Um, I was I was literally asking you, which would you pick between these two? Um, personally, I'm edging towards Plague White, but I still think Fireblade's good. I just don't know that it's what. Uh. Blocked each creature blocking it gets plus one minus one minus one. Hmm. Yeah. Do you think Fireblade? Uh, let me have a look. I suppose I am kind of going for the whole. If I'm in red black, I'm basically going for burn down. So I should probably. Oh, hang on. I can't. Opponent lost life. It's not. So I thought. I had a thought that spectacle was. Um, combat damage, but it's not. It's just lost life. In which case, Fireblade Iris is much better. Because. So it's untap, okay, draw. So you can think. You might have this in your hand. But no way to deal damage. So you play this, then next turn you sacrifice this or something else to deal damage to the player in order to get one of your spectacle cards out. Seems like a good plan to be. Um, can't block this turn except by creatures with defender. One for a one one haste. Eh. <laughs> oh man, why do I have so many weenie creatures? I feel like I've gotten so nothing but weenies. Uh, I might well take the Burning Tree Vandal. You may discard. It's the May there that makes her good. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for the Burning Tree Vandal. Although I could go for another a Plague White. Um, I think Burning Tree Vandal gives me a bit more option. Should have gotten a Spear Skewer for Rakdos. I got a Skewer the Critics. Um. Oh, are you saying you should have gotten one? I'm not 100% sure what you're, what you're saying. That's what I'm getting out of here. One mana of any type. The land you control can be used uh, if... Da, 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 three mana of that type. Ooh. You were telling me about this one. This is a good card. This is quite a good card. Can't be locked. I'm probably going to take it, actually, looking at the options here. Ooh, Afterlife 2. Look at that. Look at that ugly boy. Yeah, let's take the Incubation Druid. Greed for the rares. Tap. Uh, I don't like those cards, <laughs> basically. <laughs> um, I, wasn't, I wasn't guaranteed going into Rakdos at that stage, and I think there were other better cards for other colors. Uh, it's just by the partway through pack two. Um, it was only partway through back, back pack two that I went full black blue, black red. Uh, in its battlefield, you gain two life and draw a card. As an inter spell, you may phase, you return. Oh, so this is. Um... Shit, that's pretty good. Uh, this is the equivalent of. That thing, the surveil one. Uh, this turn, each creature you control enters the battlefield with an initial one-one counter on it. Uh, hey, this is this is a cut above the other guild mages. One entire creature on another creature you control. That's all right. Top four cards in your library. Uh, put one into them in your hand. Rest them up in your library. Catacomb crocodile. Now it's turn to die this turn. I'll probably take Scorch Mark for a little bit of rule. Oh, you're right. It is really good for Spectacle. I never even thought of that. I wasn't thinking of that. Ah, shit. Yeah, no, no, you're right. You're right. You're 100% right. Um, three for a two to death touch is tempting. Um, Tempted to get the Rubble Belt Recluse just to beef up my... Uh, let's see what kind of creature numbers I'm rocking at the moment. One, two... 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine creatures. Oh, really? Okay, very nice. That, turning lands into creatures is always pretty, pretty neat. I think I'm gonna take the World Belt Recluse because even with all these things, I don't have a lot of big hitters, and I kind of need it. Um, yeah. Oh, hey, another rubber belt. Rubble Belt Recluse. That's that's exactly what I want to see. Just because I want, just because I took one doesn't mean I want any more. <laughs> um, Burning Tree Vandal. I still have. I already have two. I don't know if I'd want any more than that. Three for a two-one haste, or three for a three-two. I don't really like this card either, but. I think I need it. Right, Menace, nope. Um, Arctos Runa can block, do whatever damage to target player or planeswalker gets attacking. Um, yeah, that's alright for triggering spectacle. Um, I already have four of these. Creatures control get plus two plus zero. That's actually pretty good for me right now. Uh, I may, might have. Possibly considered getting another one of them if I'd been thinking about it earlier. Sacrifice another creature. If you do put two 1 1 counters on the City Scavenger, then scry two 4 4 3 3. Don't know that I want to sacrifice much in this deck. I don't think it's very much I want to sacrifice. Ugh, sugar. Not feeling this deck it is going to be very good. Um. I mean, this and this, I'll probably take this. Because uh, this thing's spectacle is hard to get off. <laughs> Evan, that's not how drafting works. I mean, it kind of is. Uh, people definitely rare draft, that's a thing. Uh, but not me. Okay, not me most of the time. Sometimes, maybe a little bit. Alright, let's get rid of all the off-color things and then see what we gotta work with. Uh... Sphinx is out. Actually, no, Sphinx might be back in. What am I talking about? Sphinx very much could stay in here. So I have 51, so I have to bring this down by 11. Um... Dider's Transport is out. Robo Belt Recluse I'll keep for the moment. Catacomb Crocodile's out. Rapture Demon's out. Uh, Macabre Mockery is staying in. Spike Will Acrobat is probably out. We need we need four Rubble readings. I think. I think we definitely need four Rubble readings. Undercity Scavenger's out. Um, Roustabout is, uh, is maybe. Uh, Burn Bright. That's all creatures I control, so that'll probably stay. Drillbit, I think, is out. Fireblade's in. Scorch is in. Rix is in. Trumpeteers. I'm probably going to get rid of that. That plus two plus zero is too goddamn expensive. Bladebrand is out. Um, Footlight Fiend, I'm keeping. Storm Strike is out. The face. Possibly out. Thirsting Shade and Gutter Bones can stay in. Uh, this is significantly better than the plus two for four because it has lifelink. And I'm just saying that. I'm not actually sure I'm uh, not even convincing myself if that's right. Um, let's see what kind of deck we've got here. Really, really spread out in the mana. Very even on the creatures, which I like. Oh, hang on. Um, I'm getting rid of one land. I don't need. I don't need 17. I need 16. I'm a. I'm firm believer in in the two is to two is to three ratio. Um, might throw the two Rakdos Trumpeteers back it in. 
Hmm. Um. Maybe this guy. Maybe two big things. So this and that. Um. I think that's an alright mana curve for a draft deck. Got a fair bit of options to start at the first three turns. Uh, and then I actually have some shit to follow it up later. Um, I kept the Sphinx in. I got Mirror Match. Deaders, Rubber Belt. Um, yeah, no, this isn't this isn't bad. Um, let's we gotta redo that and call it. Um, fuck, what do we call it? Um. Oh, hang on. What's the color distribution? Why am I so... Oh, I'm super heavy in red and fairly heavy in multicolor. I don't think this is right. Um, I think five, five, of the, five swamps is way too little. Um, that's like asking to get screwed on... Yeah, 7-9 seems good to me. That's asking to get screwed on uh, black mana. In my opinion. Uh... There we go. That's our little prayer to the gods. What time are we on? Ooh. Nine o'clock is fine. I got all night. This song might be a little too hype. <laughs> just, just a tad. Just a, just a tad. Okay. Gutter thirsting. Da, 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 da. And that's a pretty good opening hand. Um, we're gonna go Gutter, Fireblade, into the battlefield. We're definitely gonna try and get him out for Spectacle. Yeah, okay, I'm happy with this. Boop. What's his Enter Battlefield top? Da -da -da -da. Only during your turn and only if an opponent lost life. So it's spectacle essentially. Okay. Throw this out. Throw this out. Swing for the face. What was that? Was that the No, yeah, what was that? I was that the thing for spectacle? He's gonna... yeah, okay, I figured that was gonna happen. Although, to be honest, he probably should have done that to... Oh, no, the reason he didn't do it to Gutter Bones is because I could have started... I could have started sacrificing Gutter Bones and bringing him back every turn. That's... Um... That's a combo! Huh. Neat, I didn't even notice that when I was making it. Um... You looked away? How dare you? Uh, all that happened is I lost Fireblade Artist, he got exiled, and I was commenting on how Fireblade Artist plus Gutter Bones makes for an interesting combo. Because you can sacrifice Gutter Bones every upkeep, and then play Gutter Bones every turn. Like, that's, that's, uh, that's pretty dope. I don't have enough for the spectacle cost. That... This card's excellent. Never mind what I said before. This could open up a lot of opportunities. Um, this is a good engine. Ooh, okay. 
Here's the play. We're not gonna bricks yet. We're gonna be a little dick, is what we are. <laughs> um, I like destroy land when, I, when you're playing draft. Because it's a real dick move. Another one? Um, I don't need more mana at the moment, so I'm going to throw that to the bottom deck. I'm going to keep the rubble reading, and I'm going to destroy another one of his lands next turn. And we're just going to retreat that for a while. Oh yeah, of course I was going to kill the green one. Yeah, no, you, you take the land they have the least of. That is the rule. Oh my god! It's happening! It's happening next turn. Oh shit, he got... He actually got something to generate green mana, aside from that. Um, maybe he needs to green, though. At which point, I'm more than happy to keep destroying these. Uh, Sphinx... I'm throwing these both away. I don't think I need them for the moment. Drag a creed card from an opponent's graveyard, and it's only an opponent's graveyard, so that makes this a little worse than I've been thinking. I was thinking any creature in a graveyard. Still good. Still like it. Um, might drop it next turn, though, for, in favor of drawing three cards. Um, no real point in waiting for it. Ooh, okay. Mmm. Oh, hmm. Deal two damage to target creature. If that creature would die, so I'm not getting. I'm not going to be able to use a cab mockery on this thing regardless. Um, but I don't really want to play either of these anytime soon either. That's an instant, yeah. Possibly consider saving it for his turn when he attacks. No, he's got menace. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to do that. Is he going to take damage? If he takes the damage, um, it's Rex all the way. Uh, but I don't think he's going to take all the damage. At which point, I want to get rid of the Got Boy, the <laughs> Gore Gore Boy. Okay. All right. Not too shabby. Uh, is the music dead? Music has died. Next, please? Yeah, thank you. Don't know why I wouldn't... Hmm, ah, uh, whatever. Uh, hello. You can't cast non-creature spells. Whenever you tap a land for mana, at one mana of any type that that land would produce. Shit. Um, he got something big out. Hmm. Okay, now I, I, I wait. He can't attack because he can't take the damage. I don't want to do anything with Gutter Bones just yet. Okay, he's getting his green out. Uh, this is where the tides turn. Hello. Can't be blocked by more than one creature. However, Sunshine deals common damage to a player. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Oh my goodness, he was playing the long game. Um, I have to tell him. It's okay. Fuck, I think I'm possibly boned. Oh yeah, I'm definitely boned. Um, shit. Uh... Yep, I'm boned. Oh well, it happens. Do I hear? Hang on one second. Huh. 
Hmm, I think I hear um, bells in this song. Distant church bells. But I didn't hear before. Battle of the church bells stopped ringing the second I opened my headphones up. Uh, is there anything for me to do here? Okay. Uh, haste. No. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> Shite. Bronze tier 4. The shame. Oh man, I hope this isn't a... I hope this isn't a 0-3 draft. I'll be pretty salt. Pretty explicitly salty. Rebel Reed, Scorch, Burn. I think this is a mulligan. That honestly didn't get much better, but I'm gonna keep it anyway. Okay, okay, that's a little better. Shammy Ricky. Shammy Ricky. Prepare to be mildly bemused. This is my this is my nervous habit when I'm playing magic. Just constant clicking back and forth. And I'm gonna put a stop on the end of his turn and then I'm gonna skip everything. Uh rubber belt run can be blocked by creature tokens, okay. Um so I attempted to swing and get rid of the rubble belt. Hmm. What am I sacrificing for that though? I mean next turn I take three and then I or I block with gutter bones and I lose them anyway. Yeah, let's go. Let's let's um let's swing for the face. He could take it as well, which I'm pretty okay with. Ooh, he's taking it. All right. He's got something bigger. Riot, trample, three zero. Right, uh, paste. No, not the haste. Okay. Not what I was expecting. Fooch. Give him the fooch. Okay. Swing, burn bright. Um... Block. Scorch mark or burn bright. I can do either actually. Um, probably gonna go for the block. Probably go for the defensive option. Is rubble? It's the sorcery. Hopefully, he doesn't kill gutter bones in the meantime. Oh shit! Oh no no, it would have dealt the damage regardless. <laughs> Mirror march. Um, how much more damage can I take? Is it worth rubbling forest to then hopefully get a land next turn? Mirror march. Rubber, rubber recluse to turn after. Then I'm on two life, so no. The answer is no. Um, I need to put pressure on him with this with this boy. Into battlefield, gain two life. Okay, it's alright. Ooh. I got nothing for that. 
I don't know what he... Okay, I'm assuming he had something else to do. They had something else to do. Because that is not... That's not how anything works. <laughs> they, they, I wasn't winning. <laughs> like, that was still anyone's game. I would have, I, I agree with you. I would have hasted, um, because I think getting the three damage to my face would have put me in a, it would have had me on eight life that turn. Um, I'm not saying it would have made any difference to the outcome, because he quit for some reason. Um, why did he quit? I don't understand. I need to stop saying he as well. It's sexist. Thirst in shade. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's just go. <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> no reason not to swing. Um, thirsty shade next turn. Yeah, thirsty, thirsty shade next turn. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Thirsty shade. My odds, yes. Okay, technically, technically, my odds are still good. I'm trying to think of. I mean, I suppose statistically, if you're going to guess, if you if you need to guess, then you should always guess a guy. Statistically. I'd just rather not. I'd rather not assume. <laughs> Deals one damage and you draw a card. Okay. Um, land? Shit. I needed a land. Um. Do I hold back to block? I do hold back to block. Uh, I want to block the Blade Juggler if I get the chance. Uh, and I need to play the longer game because I'm a bit shit on the old mana front. Yeah. Happy to take the one damage. It's not that big a deal. Especially since I have a lifelink creature. Evan. Ooh, okay. More blads. Blad jugulars. Riot. Become blocked, deal one out turn. Playing your planeswalker. Might take the damage from the blade juggler this turn then. If that's the case. Um Is that Oh hey, look, the name's coming up now. I don't know why it was coming wasn't coming up before. Might have been the Japanese characters maybe. Uh, um I think high haste. Yeah. Did it, did I say your name at some point? I think I was going to ask you a question, and the question was going to be: Have you hovered over my screen to get a look at a card yet? <laughs> um, do I drop? What do I drop? I do want to. I do want to. I do want to mill through some of these cards. I think I dropped the rubble reading because it's kind of lost its usefulness once he gets two of each card out, two of each land out. It's really only useful when they have... Um, what's not working for you? I don't actually have that, that um, overlay installed, so it wouldn't work. But what I was saying is, were you accidentally just doing it for... for I was just wondering if you're doing it for, for fun. Because uh, <laughs> I certainly do it when I'm watching magic. Uh, I'll take that damage, that's fine. Vigilance Afterlife. All right. Um. Spick wheel. Uh, I attack with Burning Tree Vandal. <laughs> Figured. Um. With power, exile target creature with power three or less. Yeah. Uh, and I am going to attack with the Thirsting Shade for that too. 
for the disrespect. Ooh, nice. Three damage to target opponent. Play, uh, player discards two cards. Yeah, I figured. I figured this was gonna happen. Um. Uh, but I got. Ooh, there's one damage to target creature or planeswalker. Oh, that's not permanent controller. Well, yeah, one damage is useless up for the moment. I mean, I guess I could get rid of. Is this instant? It is instant speed. Very nice. I should add this to my song list. Um, there was another song you sent earlier, and I said I should add it to my song list. I think it was the Final Fantasy one. I think that I can see the history after the after the thing. Um, do I Carnival, Kill the Shade, or do I Carnage next turn and get rid of two of his cards? I think I Carnage next turn. Um, I think I Carnage next turn, yeah. I think I want to empty his hand more than anything. Their hand, more than anything. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. That's slightly more problematic. Um, I could have killed. I could have thrown out the Carnival Carnage there to stop him from sacrificing that thing, but then he just would have sacrificed the Twilight Panther instead. Honestly. Eh. Shit. Okay, Thirsting Shade needs to block the big boy next turn. Um, oh, or I throw out the spike wheel. Hmm. Spike wheel can block the big boy. Oh, I'm very tempted to get rid of his hand though. I think I get rid of his hand. What was that? Another Undercity, and da, 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 player discards a card after life 2. Honestly, probably not about worth it. And jump block. Gain a life for it. Lose 3, 4, life. Shit, I'm dead. Um, I don't think I can't stop lethal. Yeah, shit. Uh, I feel like I could have played that better. But I'm trying to think what I could have done. And no mirror matches, by the way. Just just pointing that out. No mirror matches. Why is there always two new tweets? Oh my god. <laughs> um, two mana macabre, Ricks, Burning Tree Vandal. Yeah, I'll keep this. Uh, I think I was saying this earlier, I don't know if you were there, but I was saying my biggest weakness in magic is picking my opening hand, basically. Deciding whether or not to mulligan or not. always been the thing that trips me up the most and where I where I lose a lot of matches not sure how much I like that effect going across all the time uh, I'm gonna have a quick look at my graphic settings as well. yeah everything's on highest can I look at the okay no. um Crypt creature gets plus zero plus three and has third players top three cards of their library into their grid fucking Full. Um, um, I decline. Question is, I don't think I Rix. I think for him to really be, I think, I think I overestimated how good this card is. I think it might take too long. You were three damage to any target. I could go for the burn, but I probably I think I want to keep it myself. 
Hopefully he plays something with one next turn, and I can carnival him. That's what I want to do. Preferably he's... Oh, shit. Plus zero, plus three. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Now we're on a creature in the world under your control, you gain one life. Uh, I'm going to be skewering that. Yeah, he's going to take... He's going to take the damage from this, and then I'm skewering that. Yeah, there it is. Give me that... Oh, wait. Did I... Give me the critics... Which one's the... Okay, this is the spectacle. Yeah, okay. Um... Don't need to carnival. Creature or planeswalker? One damage. Oh, I can deal damage to a planeswalker. That's neat. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, we're good. Budging. Can you say mana screwed? Oh, shit. I should have possibly played Rix at this stage. Um. Cab Mockery. Yeah, the plus two plus zero makes this pretty damn nice. Okay, uh, haste, cipher the next end step. Ooh, you can use this to, um, whatchamacallit, I think. Unless their control pays two for each of those creatures. If I draw another mana this turn, Can't pay the two. Okay, yeah, no, we just. So he's gonna start milling me. Shit. Equip three, so equip onto him, then attack, possibly, or just start milling. Probably attack, and then start milling the next turn. Creature control with flying get plus zero plus one. Or, yeah, whatever. Um, okay. Ooh. It deals one damage to any target. Hmm. Sack. Sack. Carnival. Something else. Nah, not happening. Um, fuck this. Mana. Okay, I'm just playing... I'm just playing Rix. I should've played him. Should've played him ages ago. I forgot he had... Shit, I forgot he had this ability. Um, Rubble's not coming out for a while. Burn Bright could have a lot of uses. Uh, okay, not happy with this. No, no, you're grand. You can you can go do things. I, you, you're not tied to the stream. There's no one to moderate. You're fine. <laughs> um. Just kind of thinking to myself, what? What do I need to do? I need land. I really need land. Uh, I can play the Thirsting Shade next turn. And have the Carnival in pocket if I need it. Uh, I don't think. Ooh, hang on, that's tempting. Um, sack, kill. Then he gets afterlife. 
um, Attack Kill Afterlife Carnival. Yeah, I think it's more than this thing's gonna do otherwise. Yeah. Possibly consider carnivaling this guy. Um, God damn. Oh no! Oh, plus. Oh, damn it. The plus zero plus one. I forgot all about it. That's a shame. Sugar. Uh, tempted to attack with these two. So I can get the carnival off next turn. At worst, I can block with Thirsting Shade just to stop the Forbidden Spirit next turn. And I'm in a better position to swing at him than he is to swing at me. I mean, he's got his flyers, but that puts me on a timer. Come on. Oosh. Okay, that's great. That's exactly what I wanted to happen there. Still hasn't gotten a chance to put put his, put his shield on anything, which I'm more than happy about. Enters battlefield. Okay, whatever. Tomorrow is Thursday. Yeah, tomorrow's Thursday. Thank you. Christ. Um, this, give him plus one plus one. Uh, I don't want to attack with him yet. I need to play... I need to get him to attack me. Hexproof from Mullow Colored. Oh shit, what's that do? Other creatures you control get plus one plus zero. Whenever a non top creature you control dies, don't damage to any target. Ooh, she is good. Has Defender and. Sorry, wait. Has Defender and loses flying? Shit! Ah, oh, that's a pain in the ass. Uh, I could Macabre Mockery... Yeah, I think I'm gonna Macabre Mockery at this Forbidden Spirit. Swing with it. And the next turn, I'm probably gonna burn bright and swing with everything, depending on what the board state looks like. There's no way I need three more mana to be able to use a cab mockery and burn bright together, which is what I want to do, to be honest. Um, Vigilance one and afterlife. I could get a this. This slows him down though. Enter the battlefield until your next turn. From an opponent graveyard onto the battlefield. Yeah, so this will trigger that ability for me. Certain creatures can't attack you or planes are to control unless your control pays two for each of those. But he does have the mana to pay. Um. Yeah, no, I think he's got a lot of cards in hand, so I think this is a better play. Uh, throw this at him. Mm. And I think I sit on everything else I have, because everything anything else I have is likely to die. But a 5-3 takes out his 2-5. He doesn't want to take 5 damage. Yeah, there we go. That's what I wanted to see. That's excellent. Now he's got to pay to attack me, which makes it more difficult. He's probably going to equip this onto this, and then swing with this. That's what I'd do, depending on what's in his hand, of course. Damage. Ah, uh, shit, that hurts. Mm, that really hurts. Shh. 
Shukra. Oh hey, did I close? I did close things. Whoops. This big beefy boy is the play. Oh, hey, I've got a three. I suppose I have a three-two defender, which is all right. Uh, that can take out the dagger caster. Oh, apparently my um, bit rate's been dropping. Hmm, weird. Notifications. Completed three achievements. New day, new stream. Oh, right, whatever. Yeah. Wait, is it past? What time is it? 21.34. Loads of time. Might call it soon enough, maybe? I'll, sl I'll play out the draft. We'll play out the rest of the draft. Maybe open a few of the packs as well. Hey, alright. Um, I can play both Burn Brights. This guy doesn't have Trample, this guy doesn't have Trample. He has to attack. Um, oh shit, I see. I see what I'm doing. Six. So he's gonna block with this. Then I throw out the burn bright. I wonder. You know what? Let, let's let's give it a shot. We're gonna attack with everything. Yeah. UI's a little weird and with that kind of stuff. I mean, I suppose there's no reason for him not to block that. Alright, one burn bright. And this, this card is doing a lot for him right now. Target creature gains death touch. Draw a card. Ah, very nice. I still kill most of his board. It kills his whole board, doesn't it? Yeah, and you're dead, yeah. Oh! <laughs> ah, shit. Oh, he's going for the face! Oh, he should not have done that. He should have killed Lash, then started swinging with Judith. Um. Hey, I'll take it. I'm more than happy to take that. As well, battlefield deals two damage to each opponent, and you gain two life. Round, no problem. I mean, yeah, sure. I, why wouldn't I block that? Doesn't have first strike or anything. And he's just gonna one mob me in the face. Maybe I can get Sphinx out next turn if I'm lucky. It's still good. I like it. Um, yeah. Come on. What are we gonna do? So I'm gonna swing with this guy next turn, no matter what, basically. As he puts out something that's got seven toughness, in fact, that's probably the only thing that'll stop me. Finally gonna get it to equip that thing. 
I want to him. Okay. Swing with him. Um, if I get a mana, it's Sphinx. I need to bait him into blocking this turn. Do it. Block it. Block it. Block it. Yes. Okay. I needed him to block, otherwise I died next turn. Now I've bought exactly one turn for myself. Don't know that I can bring this back. Shit. Ah, uh, I lose. Throw this guy out. I concede. Fuck. Uh, the deck just. Ah, uh, yeah. The deck just doesn't have what it takes, man. One win. One pack. Maybe a second pack. So. When you are. Drafting, you spend 5,000 gold to go to play some matches, and you basically get four, guaranteed four packs worth. Four and a half packs worth if you count the 100 gems. Hey, I got the pack! Okay. No, I didn't get the pack. That's the that's the claimed prize pack. Ugh, sorry. Uh, now, something I've been waiting to do for a while. I've been wanting to do for a little bit. Um... Featured packs, please. Uh. Oh, that's too slow. Oh, that's good. I'm gonna bring that down to 10,000. I probably wanna play another draft at some point. Alright, let's finish off with opening up these. Guild Mages Forum, utter trash. Swarmy Boy, trash. Um. Uncommon wild card, pretty good. <laughs> That's the best thing in this whole this whole pack. Conclave Guild Mage. Trash. Um, Flying Death Touch Hexproof is alright. Cast an interest card from your hand, but I think it's I think it's too expensive. Um, oh, oh sorry, that that one. Um, I can't remember what it actually does, now that I think about it. I just remember looking at it and thinking I, I don't like that, so I've, I've just assumed I always don't like it. Deal 3 damage to each opponent, tap another target creature. This is actually pretty decent. The first ability is bad, but the, the option to tap another creature, uh, even for the sake of tapping Guild Mage, like, let's say they have that stupidly large indestructible worm. You can just you can just tap it out every turn with this little little lady. Oh hey. I always like some uh dual lands. Oof. Open X ten. I'm tempted to press the button. Now uh, is it is it is it is disappointing is it a disappointing open? Does it does it just like spurt them all out and not give you the the like chance to just cleanly go through them? Oh really? No, fuck that. No, not happening. <laughs> we're having we're having a nice a nice clean look in that case. Now our gate enters battlefield under control can't be blocked this turn. Does combat damage to a player draw a card? So it's okay. Draw a card's pretty good. It's just the inconsistent. Um, Inconsistent, unblockable, but gates are common enough. But honestly, you're probably not. Oh, I actually remember hearing that. You're right. Gate decks are kind of. Ooh. Ooh, hang on. I just, I just went to tap. Oh no! Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Skyrgen Hellkite. We're looking at that in a minute. <laughs> Motherfucking. <laughs> Uh, parental common damage. I hate this card. Utterly hate it. The despise. It's 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 that freaking that freaking um uh, what was I calling it? 
Stall. It's a stall card. I hate it. Shuffle the graveyard into the library and draw a card. Good given what... Um, good against mill decks, so... Like, one or two of these is in your sideboard, maybe? Only if mill decks became meta, though. Uh, which I don't think they are going to be. Almost one for each great you control. Oh! Vigilance and Trample for just two Yates. Wow! Okay, I can, I'm starting to see where the um, gate thing's coming in. Target land you control... Oh, I thought you said this was five mana for a 4-4 four, four, uh, land, but three mana makes this excellent. Like, I was I was like, five, yeah, that's pretty good. Three, excellent. Um, entire creature can't block this turn is actually a pretty good ability to do. That's probably one of the best guild mages there is right now. Uh, let's see what it is. Hey, dual land, always good, always nice. Never say no. Um, all creatures minus, minus two, minus two, that's pretty good. All, all, all creature cards and all graveyards that were put there. Creature would die this turn, exile it instead. Neat. Uh, that's pretty damn good. Um, six damage attack creature with flying, that's good. Plus four, plus two, and gains trample. That's quite, this is quite a decent um, multi card. Uh, helps you deal with a weakness of. Actually. Is flying really a weakness of red green? Not really. Still, six damage for two on a flying creature. And there's plenty of six toughness flying creatures in the game. Uh, Thought Collapse, always good. Summary Judgment deals three damage to target top creature. Oh! Gah! I I seen what it was, and I'm actually really happy. Because it's exactly what I want. It's the Jellyfish Hydra Beast. Um, is this a rare? Or is this a mythic? Um, two, two wild cards. Read them and fucking weep. Uh, prying eyes, draw for cards and scarce cards. Oh, I meant to say to you, remember I was, I was shitting on you for buying cards. It's actually not as bad now that they've implemented duplicate protection. If you have... If you have a bunch of cards and you open more packs, you will not get duplicates in this client. Um, which I think is a fair trade-off for the fact that you can't trade cards in this Magic the Gathering, the trading card game. <laughs> kind of a big part of the whole thing. Um, but yeah, and I think if you eventually have a full set, any card you get that's a duplicate, if a card, if it's a rare or a mythic, and it can't be changed into a different card, you get a pittance of gems, which is actually pretty nice. Uh, you could build up a fair whack, and given you're gonna turn, given how many wild cards you get, you could you could fill out your rares and mythics pretty easy, pretty pretty handily. Uh, I do very much like that. It says Nibbana. This has been. This looks to be, honestly, a better play, like, a better better free-to-play model than Hearthstone, in my opinion. Um, honestly, a better play model than regular, regular, uh, <laughs> regular whatchamacallit. Each creature control and com- Oh, this is the one, this is the one you were talking about. Selfless threat and its power. Creatures you control that can attack. Ooh, a defender deck might be might be a thing. Knight Arbiter. Yeah, he, this one's all right. Um, don't know how much I'd be into playing this in constructed. Uh, it feels like more of a draft card to me. Though I suppose in an equipment deck. Oh, you're right. Shit. Yeah, yeah that's just, I wasn't even thinking about that. What do we got? Immolating Shaman. Whenever an opponent activates an ability of an artifact creature or land that isn't a mana ability, Immolation deals one damage to that player. Nice. Um, gains plus three plus three and menace. Um, ability of an artifact creature or land. So it has to be an activated ability, not a triggered ability. So a tap ability. Um, so it's something like tap or wait is an is a sorry is a mana ability 
a ability that costs mana to trigger or an ability that creates mana. Uh, that is something I should clarify. Um, I don't know myself. I, feel, I have a feeling it's generating mana because otherwise that Immolating Shaman isn't as good. With it being non-mana abilities, like any activated ability, so things guild mages do like, and the like, that makes it pretty good. Uh, Rhythm of the Wild, your favorite. <laughs> Wall of Lost Hearts and about attack player top four cards. Oh yeah, mill deck, whatever. That's a really good mill card. Zero just buys time and mills cards. Spirit Viewer, I must keep this in mind for a spectacle in the future going forward, because that's a really good point you made earlier. In my face, four, draw two cards, gain two life. Menace, Death Touch. Ooh, nice. Instant Search has control, have Death Touch. Ooh, excellent. This is a red black card of dreams. Um, it's a little weaker because it's three, two. Menace, Death Touch is. Menace, Death Touch. Spells have Death Touch. That is a lot of abilities in one card. Um, really weird so this song this song dave the streamer i watch all the time this song is his like opening song and just hearing it now makes me think i'm supposed to be in another twitch chat uh, talking to people <laughs> oh wait did that just cut oh no, it did just cut oh huh. weird um fuck i I don't like that. When you click outside, it um, it 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 goes to the next pack. Another one of these. Cab mockery. Uh, quite like the macabre mockeries. Hey, another deputy detention. Not bad at all. Uh, Smelt ward Ignis. Sacrifice my wordingness, gain control of target creature with power 3 or less until end of turn. On top of that creature, it gains haste until end of turn. Um, eh. 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 <laughs> uh, Thunder Shaman. Can't be blocked by more than one creature. It's coming down to player, destroy target artifact. Ah, yes, I think you were telling me about this one as well. Oh boy. That's what I like to see. Fucking worms. I love worms. I would happily make worm decks all day. I think worm deck was one of my first ever things I made. Vice Star Creature can have destroy target lamb in fact Six four five riot. Six four five riot. Fight or destroy. Excellent. It is a mythic though, so I should, I'm not that surprised. Um fight is excellent. Uh, another clan guild mage. I think it's trying to push me into Grohl, and I'm just not going to play Grohl. To be honest. <laughs> oh hey, a second Hallowed Fountain. Alright. Um, Counter Battlefield. Counter number one, counter on creature you control. Creature your opponent control with power less than or equal to that number. Can't block this turn. Eh. Ooh, excuse me. Ooh. Um, it doesn't matter what's good, I'm playing Simic. <laughs> I'm playing Simic, and I'm probably playing Orzhov, regardless of how good they are. Um, blue, green, and white, black are two of some of my favorite color combinations. Um, okay. One, two, Vigilance, Flash, and his battlefield, if it's Catherine, a creature gains life link until end of turn. Um, I can leave it. I'm not that fussed. This one just sounds convoluted. I see what we got. Another emulation shaman. Not too happy to see that. I, I'm not gonna make much use of the emulation shamans. I don't think. Or in fact, any use of the emulation shamans. Next, our creature and opponent controls can't block this turn. That's pretty good, actually. Now that I look at it again. Target flying, control gets flash flying. Oh yeah, this one's good. Um, 
Hey! It's really trying to push me into green 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 red. Like <laughs> that's a lot of that's a lot of things. Uh We're just gonna we're just gonna have a quick look. Whenever one or more plus one hundred put on draw a card, then discard a card. <sighs> I am tired AF. Um I might call it at that for the night actually. I might I might need to get a couple loses. Just maybe a little bit. This is very that was a very disappointing um set of packs for what I wanted. <laughs> it was a great set of packs for getting good stuff, but it was a really disappointing set of packs for what I actually wanted to get, which was green blue cards. <laughs> um Oh, oh, okay, hang on. We need to have a look at the Drake, because I missed it. Uh, and we're going to go have a look at the Jelly Beast, Jellyfish Beast Hydra, just before I finish up. Uh, I think it was a six-cost Drake, wasn't it? Come on. Mirror March. Oh, yeah, yeah, I have a Mirror March. Apex Power... Oh, okay, where was the Drake then? Dinosaur, Italia, Stormfleet, Spark Tongue. Was it a five cost Drake? Drakey boy. Where are you? Uh, Evan, do you remember the name of the card? <laughs> um. Gargan Hellkite. Oh, has this already been... Is this... It's banned. Okay, yeah. Uh, let's just... Hellkite. Scargan Hellkite. It was 5 cost. Okay, I just missed it then. Riot Flying. So 5 for a 4-4 four, four flying, haste for 5 for a 5-5 five, five flying. Gargan Hellcat is 2 damage, divided as you choose among 1 or 2 targets. Activate as only if Gargan Hellcat has a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it. Ah, I like it a lot. All about them options. So most of the time you're probably only going to play it 5 five for a five five flyer to get that ability. But the haste is pretty damn good. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um Rhythm of Wild seems seems very very strong. Uh we're going straight to the multicolors here. We're gonna go have a look at the boy, boy I have so dreamed of, for Mania Knight. Where is Green Blue? <laughs> uh, Crassus. Uh. Oh wait, when did I get to Shanna? Oh, whatever. Um, yeah, Jellyfish Hydra Beast. I want to use it in every deck, man. Two for a four for a two-two flying trample. Draw a card, gain gain a life. Six for a four-four flying trample. Draw two cards, gain two life. God damn! Whenever you cast a spell, you gain X life. So I'd need some ramp to go with to go with a hydroid crassus based thing. It's not really honestly not actually a card for winning games. <laughs> but I really like it. Incubation druids. Uh does incubate what does incubation druid do again? I mean apart from ramp. 
Um, Incubation Druid only ramps if you can get counters on it, though. I mean, it's one for a... It is one for a... 0-2 mana tap. Where are you? Incubation Druid. 2 cost. Oh, okay. Hey, it's right there. Uh, one mana of any type of landing control can produce. I think a big druid has plus one plus one counter on it. So how do you get the 1-1 one, one counter on this easily? And I know you're going to say Rhythm of the Wild, but how do I do it in my deck? Because <laughs> um, the adapt... Like, at 5 mana, you're already pretty late in the game. I'm a, Yeah, th there's probably plenty, I just don't know it yet. Man. A few Simic cards. Scuttlegator. Ah, oh, shark to crab! Oh my god! Whenever one more comes, kind of tap tap creature and opponent controls. That creature doesn't adopt during its next. Step. I need more shark to crabs in my life. One thousand percent. Yeah, yeah, this one. Um, arcades. Oh, he's the dragon, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. The defender dragon. Um, it's not really my style, to be honest. <laughs> I'm very much a... That type of deck. Well, actually, I suppose with the... No, because the, I don't lose the... You don't lose defender with the... Do you lose defender with that high alert thing? Um, I don't think you do. You just assign your toughness as though it was power. Here are you, my blue. I alert. Oh, 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 you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Each opponent you control assigns combat damage to it. Creature you control can attack as though they didn't have defender. That could totally work. So you have a couple, two or three arcades, four high alerts. Um, I just noticed this has on tap as well. That's quite a nice. Uh, it's quite a nice addition. Um, and you put a um, what's uh, what's the name of it? Snap, snap. Cold water snapper. No, no, not cold water snapper. There's another turtle. Where's Oh, oh, am I kidding? Oh, I'm thinking of I'm thinking of a different set then. There was like three for like a one seven turtle. Um, uh, this one's terrible. No, I really don't want to use wall mists. Couple of wall of lost thoughts. Uh, yes, actually, that's a very good point. Uh, lost thoughts. Possibly... What colors? Arcades is in... Green, white, blue. So red's out of the question. Uh, Wall of Vines, quite tempting. Just for the reach, mostly. Grappling Sunju gains indestructible. Um... Is this, is this how you play? I'm trying to think of um, a name of one of those tower defense games. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to make a joke like that. Oh yeah! Holy shit! You're right. Yeah. For one mana. Tower. Yeah, <laughs> two mana. Okay. Hey, two zero five. You're thinking of something else. Um, Plus seven? No. I, I thought there was. I thought there was something that gives you like a dingle butt of flying hexproof. Oh. Might 
it's I'm not in the right colors. Um, Wait, what am I thinking of? So, I want to get rid of red. I don't want to go back to what I was doing. Um, there's definitely a plus seven white card. There it is. That's what you want. You want Aegis of the Heavens. For some reason I thought I gave Hexproof, but that's your, that's your plus seven, plus seven. Um, and if you're running... Arcades, yeah. yeah, yeah. Two mana for plus seven, plus seven was not 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 too shabby at all. By any means. All right, I am gonna call it there for the night because uh, I am a little bit hungry actually, and I'm quite tired. So thank you very much for watching. Let me. Yeah. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, I might stream again tomorrow. Magic is pretty easy to stream. It's pretty relaxing. It's not really very much of anything. After that, is it Subnautica, MTG? Is it Subnautica or is it Dark Souls? Because I kind of want to play Subnautica and I kind of want to play Dark Souls. Uh, I think I'll save Dark Souls. I'll save Dark Souls for for a later time. I think. Want to do? I don't want to do all three games. Later, dude. Have a good night.